When writing Markdown, reference links let you reuse a link at multiple spots in the current document. VS Code also includes a quick fix that lets you go and convert a normal link into a reference link. Let's take a look at this in action. So here you can see my Markdown document, and I have two links both going to example.com. So first one here, and the second one here. Now if we wanted to update where these links are pointing, I could go and update both locations, or instead I could go and convert these to reference links, so I just have to update a single spot in the document. Let's go and do that using the quick fix. So I'm going to go and place my cursor on the link that I want to convert here. And when I do this, I should get a little light bulb showing up over here, telling us that there are code actions available. I can then click on this light bulb or use control dot or command dot to actually open up the quick fix or code action menu. Now I can select extract to link definition. And this is going to go and convert both occurrences of this link into a reference link. After running the code action, you can see that what has happened is that VS Code has added a link definition to the bottom of the file. So that's this line down here. And now it has gone and converted both of the links that were going to example.com to go and use that link definition. It is now prompting us for a name that we want to use to identify this link. So I'm, going, I'm just going to enter my link. And now my link is being used in both locations here to go and identify that this is a reference link to the link that is defined down here. Now, the nice thing about reference links is that if I want to update where these links are pointing, I can just go and update the link definition at the bottom of the file. So here I could just say example.com slash ABCD. And now I've updated both links to go and point to this new location. Reference links can also be used with images. So here you can see I'm using two images that are both linking to the same file. If I want to go and convert these to reference links, again, I can just place my cursor anywhere on the link itself, click on that light bulb or use the keyboard shortcut, control dot or command dot, and then say extract a link definition. Now I can enter the name of my reference link. So I'll say cat. And I've gone and created a reference link at the bottom of the file that is going and pointing to that file. Reference links can be invaluable when maintaining larger markdown documents, and VS Code's code action makes it easy to adopt them. So that's how you can use VS Code's built-in markdown support to convert normal links into reference links.